Aloha, my boy, everybody at the interwebs. We're going to go ahead and do pizzas on the griddler. Pizzas on the griddler from Ray from the Bay. Take uh, my um, flatbread pizza, fold it in half. Okay, I'm going to fold it in half. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the grill. And this time, I'm actually going to use olive oil and see what that does there so i'll go ahead and put these i'm gonna i want to finish up like this right so i'm gonna put them down so let's do this I'm start this way if i was camping i'd use granola oil but let's just go ahead and use um let's go ahead and use this oil let me just do it both ways let me go one way this way and i'll put on the bumpy side on this one here Lord, okay. Let's see what comes out there. Let's do some test tang. All the way down to the crisp. I can tell you that when I was camping, I didn't go this extravagant, right? I didn't go this extravagant. I just went ahead and used the uh, canola oil on there. And we'll flip them over, right? Get a little bit hot. Put a toast up. Once I flip them, I'll go ahead and put in the, per uh, the marinara while I'm actually adding my um, uh, marinara sauce. So again, for like a minute, right? One minute. Try to just get this a little bit toasty. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my marinara sauce. One tablespoon. One tablespoon, edge to edge. Edge to edge, not a lot. Edge to edge. Okay. Go ahead, my pepperoni on there. Again, I usually use the um, Corbell, I think, a cup of crisp, because I like just to how size the size of they are. I put eight of those on there usually. I'm gonna add four of these. Heck, let's make it a extra. I'm gonna add extra. Okay. Do that. Let that cook up. And my cheese. This one here. Because on this one on the bottom, I'm going to add my other cheese. What's the other cheese? Here's my cheese of balls. Okay. these balls because I'm going to make show you what it does for that one okay how's that gonna melt all right take my pepperoni cups throw them on the pizza I'll make a double pep boom all right double pep boom boom all right I'm gonna add now some a little bit of marinara on top of that. Uh, excuse me, cheese on top of that. It's a little, it's a little. Okay. And then I'm gonna use these bacon crumbles. I showed you a little earlier. And I'm gonna add those on top. Now, if you could tell, if I didn't have the pepperoni, the bacon crumbles on top of the pizza would be enough. Perfectly enough, you know? And that's that little bit of meat. And then the finale, I'm gonna add the top. I can close the lid, not close the lid, that's, that's, just all, that's all on you, um, whatever you prefer. I don't know if it actually gets a little bit hotter, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't uh, infrareded it yet. But that's really what it is to make these pizzas. Um, I'll let it go for, again, like two to three minutes, and I'll check it. And this is all real time, so, you know, what are the ingredients while you're taking a look? It's the wheat pressure. I got this flatbread. I get this at Safeway, personally, locally. Five pieces, comes about four something, right? I use these cheese crumbles, uh, bacon crumbles from Costco. Okay, big old bag. I, I think that's about eight bucks. I use any, a shredded mozzarella coming off the block is better. You can use rustic, meaning the thicker pieces too. As you're gonna tell here, those mozzarella balls, they're gonna go ahead and, and, and be able to um, 
uh, oop, then I got these mozzarella balls, okay? Uh, a Caligi size, right? Pearl size. And then um, usually I use the pepperoni um, cup and crisps because I can put eight in each pizza, but I'm using this for right now, which is uh, that one's from Whole Foods. So those are my ingredients outside of um, what I showed you here, which is the uh, my pizza sauce, which is the uh, uh, Shigo de Pomodoro pizza sauce. Um, I actually go get this at Whole Foods. If I search for it, it's going to be under pizza sauce, not marinara sauce. All right, and then I just had that olive oil on there. So we'll go and take a look at this, see what it looks like. That was about a minute 20. So boom, still still need some time, right? That was a minute 20, so we'll let do the minute, another minute and a half, okay? All right, you see how the mozzarella balls are starting to, um, starting to uh, melt? So I'll go ahead and take them off. And again, I would go ahead now, after I put them on my sheet here, that's when I would go ahead and put on the basil. But, you know, again, I don't have the basil. I wanted to show you that. So here's our mozzarella. And here's our combo. It's the combo right there. Let me go show you how that cheese is melted. Here is the margarita. See how it's starting about to even more. Okay. And then we'll go inside and we'll go taste them. But let's go ahead and clean out the real quick. The cleanup should be pretty quick, right? Because it's just bread. Right? It's just bread, so it should be pretty quick. Let's go good to sit clean. So we always do right before we leave, go into the house so we don't forget it later. Okay. Take my water. Okay. Again, that's only on low setting, right? So I don't gotta worry about hurt myself too bad. You can hurt yourself. Everybody knows that. Put myself out there. Okay. Get the towel. Turn it to go off. go but um but hey that's how i make my pizzas okay this is what they look like all right so again i would have put my i go ahead and, and go ahead and put my basil on there if i had basil but that's what it is. we'll go inside we'll go and do an inside taste test well shoot get the inside taste test let's go and taste it right now all right so i'm gonna go get the one i cut up uh pepperoni that i did earlier and what people like about this is that the bottom is crispy, okay? Bottom is crispy. So when you taste it, it has a good body, All right? Good flavor. So, yeah.